lift operation, and wheelchair securements. Let's watch as Dave shows us what to do. Okay, hi guys. Um, what we're going to do today is kind of go over the proper way to load and secure a wheelchair on our bus. I realize not everybody's a, a special needs driver, but everybody should be aware on how to do this. So we're going to start at the beginning and all the new drivers and new aides that are coming in are going through this training as well. So first thing we want to do is when we come up to the door, we want to open the door and every time please secure your door, latch your door open. You don't know when, when there's going to be a, 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 a freak gust of wind, a truck go by, whatever. We always want to latch the door. Okay, so after that, and we decide, <clears throat> so we bring the, the lift down, that could be the driver or the, or the aid that does that. So here on the device, we're gonna unfold it first. It'll come out one continuous motion and stop. Come all the way out and stop. And then we're gonna go, come all the way down and it will stop. thing when we load a student on we want to turn the chair around and back them on I'm going to show you the improper way to do it so it'll come through is the reason why we do it this way so we're going to unlock the chair so improperly I'm going to put the chair on because I think it's easier to go in on the bus so I'm going to do it this way lock the chair come around to the side start to come up Okay, why is this improper? Number one, it puts too much pressure on the lift. There's too much leverage because the weight is towards the back. And if you get a bigger student or an electric chair, this uh, lift's really gonna struggle. Number two, you see we're outside the rails here. We're back behind the rails. Something could happen off to the side and they would not be protected by the safety rail. Number three, oh, look out, we're going over the back. You don't wanna do it, you do not wanna load the chair this way. So, I'm gonna come back down. We're gonna load it properly. So we're gonna unlock the chair. So once I've taken it for mom or the teacher, we're gonna back the chair on to the lift. All the way back, we're gonna lock the chair down if it's an electric chair, it needs to be powered down because otherwise these chairs are pretty powerful. It could jump that ramp. So we never want to run it up and down on the, with the, that it's powered on. Okay, there's a belt here. You can use that or not. Not all buses, not all have them. It's a good idea if you have one to go ahead and use that. I would use that. So always have your hand on the chair when it is, when you're raising the chair, or lowering the chair mom or a teacher comes by and I'm looking the other way I can feel what's going on I can I still have control of this chair so we're gonna raise it all the way up to the stop position now at this point what I'm going to do first of all this is going to be the cardinal rule never ever to do is to leave this chair hanging with nobody here but if for demonstration purposes I'm going to leave this chair to show you what the person inside would now be doing. So we're gonna go inside the chair. So the person on the inside of the bust would then be receiving the chair unlocking the chair, bringing it in. Now at this point, the person on the outside would be folding up the lift. So I'm going to decide what position I'm going to put this chair in. Whether you see solid or whether you can pick up on the back of the chair and slide it over, just so it goes centered into its tie down position. 
relock the chair once again. Okay, now, now we're gonna put the tie downs on. These are the individual tie downs. You can see they come out. This is the release lever for the belt. If you need to release it, come out. And we're going to lock the chair on this older chair on the frame. Now the newer chairs have a D ring. It's a permanent ring that you can hook it into. That's where you wanna install the, your tie downs. This being an older chair, we're going to put it on the frame. Now I'm gonna put the front one on. I'm just going to do these two outside ones for training purposes. Once again, release it. We're gonna put it on the, the frame where it is welded, right here. Couple things you wanna remember on these tie downs. You never wanna uh, put one of these tie downs, maybe hook it to the wheel, hook it to a bolted, a bolted on uh, uh, piece of the chair. You wanna hook it to something that's welded, the center part of the chair to keep it secure. You wanna have this belt at approximately a 45 degree angle. You never want it too straight up. You never want it too, too uh, flat down. That would enable the chair to go from one side to the other. Always make sure all four tie downs are, are on. Like I say, I'm not doing that today because of training purposes. And once it's tied on, you can give it a little bit of a turn to make sure the chair is secured. When you're on the bus, both driver and aid are 100% responsible to tie this chair down. If you're both 100%, it's going to get done. Say, for example, the, somebody talk, a teacher's talking or mom or somebody, and the other person gets distracted. You say, well, I'm only responsible for the back hooks or the front hooks. That's not a good idea because it could possibly, you drive away, only two, two hooks are connected, and that would be a bad thing. So, once we have all four of our tie downs, now we're going to put on our seat belt and shoulder harness. Please, always, always use the seat belt and shoulder harness, and there's some caveats to that. But whenever you put the seat belt on, what you want to do, extend the belt out, put it between the chair, the armrest, and the chair around the student, back through here, okay? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook, hook the belt latch together. Now, the only caveat, what I said before, is this shoulder harness. Now, sometimes we might have a student that's really small, really short, and this shoulder harness would cut them across the face or underneath the chin, which would actually do more damage than if they didn't have that on. Um, and we can adjust these. This is the locking pin. We can adjust these forward or back. Okay, so in order to adjust these, if you need to, this is the locking pin. We'll put that in there and we'll lock that down. That's how you adjust these. Now, what I was saying with the shoulder strap, if you adjust this all the way out, it becomes irrelevant anyway. So, um, but if the student is larger, you should always have this shoulder strap on if it can cut, come across their chest. Now, some drivers may think, well, they're in a harness, so I won't use the seat belt or shoulder harness. That's a posture harness, if it's a, if it's a harness in the seat. A lot of times that's just Velcro in the back. In the event of a crash, they may come right out of, out of the seat. Always, at least, please, always at least have on the lap belt. Shoulder harness if it doesn't cut them across the throat. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to reverse the process. Say we're at mom's house or at school to let them off. We're going to come, push down our lever once again. Here's our lever. To release our belt, we're going to unhook it. Okay. 
we're going to unhook this one. Be aware, sometimes these chairs too might have a sharp edge on them. You want to be careful that you don't have the, the belt on a sharp edge as well. So, now we're going to release the chair, unlock the chair, scoot it over. We're going to come out, put the chair on the lift, whoever's going to receive it, the driver, the aid, and we're going to lower it down. Okay. Now, once again, we're going to, this is the cardinal no-no, but I'm going to show you a couple things inside the bus. We'll say, for example, there was a problem with the lift. It would not lift or lower. There's a handle right here. What we'll do is we'll take this handle out. Most people have used what's called a bottle jack. It's got two little ears on this valve that fits into there. Once we line those up, we can release the pressure and lower the chair all the way down. And then at this point, once the chair has, has went down, this uh, switch will operate and send you an alarm once you um, connect that switch. Now, let's we'll say for example, we're coming in rather than going out. So we come into here, put the handle right in here, and we'll jack that handle up to bring the student all the way in. Now, don't use that as a means to run the bus. Only in the case of an emergency, if the lift would break down. And I'll show you a couple things electrically on the outside that you might want to check as well. So call in, if there's a problem with the lift, they can get bring you into the bus. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. We're gonna, and here's your, there's your alarm. I'm on the, I'm on the plate. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back outside and lower the lift. Back outside now. We're going to lower the lift once again. Have your hand on the chair as you're lowering it all the way down. Okay, and we're down. So then we're going to release the release the brake, hand it off to mom or the teacher. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and lift the lift back up. Okay, and once again, it will stop at this point. It will not continue to fold until you hit the fold button. Okay, and then we'll fold the we'll fold the lift up. Now, just in case your your uh, lift you had, remember I said if you had a problem with your lift electrically, if you will come around to the side over here, this is your lift on an off switch that could have gotten bumped off. Okay, or there's a circuit breaker right up here that's a circuit breaker that might have gotten tripped you might want to go ahead and, and uh, reset that as well so just in case electrically it's not working that is a possibility before you call to double check okay so once the lift is in we unhook the door and we're good to go Ready? Okay, guys. Now, I'm on a Thomas special needs bus. Something I wanted to show you is a little bit different in Thomas versus International. Thomas buses have a switch right here. Lift switch. When it's toggled on, the lift will operate. The problem is when you get on the bus, if you still have that switch toggled on, 
you cannot release the brake. So that's a safety so you're not gonna drive away with your lift hanging out. And it has been done before. Not here, but it has been done. So toggle it on to use the lift, toggle it off to go. And this light will come on to let you know it's on.